Last time on the Dragon Ball Super Showcast. After 39 years, he, Beerus, God of Destruction, has awoken. Um, yeah. are made of weiss. Who am I to disagree? Welcome back to the Dragon Ball Super Joe podcast, where the clothes of the anime characters change more than ours. My name is Nicholas Cartier, and this is... Three episodes in one day. Dan Allen. And today, we're going to be talking about episode three of episode Dragon Ball three. Super, titled... Where is the rest of the dream in search of the Super Saiyan God? In search of the Super Saiyan God. There's a lot. There's a lot in this episode. There's a lot. Mm-hmm. It is a. It's a very plot-heavy episode. Jam. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say the Goten and Trunks in episode one is filler. Yeah, you would. But I would. <laughs> but I would say that relatively most of the stuff inside of. This episode is like relevant, relevant to the plot, relevant to what is going to be happening. Mm-hmm. Interesting. The first sprinklings of Battle of the Gods stuff that I truly see, besides Beerus himself. Yeah. Which is where we. Where we are. Where we can start. We can start. So pretty much we can start with the Beerus, because it's a very it's a very Beerus heavy episode this week. So much cat. That's a fact. So much. Uh, man, them it, traveling. Yeah, it starts with them. It starts with them traveling through the by for us to just. <laughs> the animation has been so good for every little bit of a Beerus thing. I feel it's been enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, a st- uh, they're doing a really good. Jo- good. They are doing a very good job of establishing uh, who Beerus and Whis are. Right. Mm-hmm. For people who haven't seen the movie, and even if you have seen the movie, you know, just like more depth for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's going into like just like their banter, you know, mm-hmm. when they're when they're traveling, when they're traveling, and they're just like pretty much just like talking back and forth. And then Beerus is like, "Hey, I uh, I've always wanted to ask you this. Can't you go faster?" And we just stops. He hits, just like hits the brakes. Yeah, he hits the brakes, and he's just like, "I'll have you know." I am the fastest flyer in this universe. And Beerus is just like, huh. Didn't know that. Japanese, he says, fastest flyer. Yeah. I think in English, he's like, I'm the fastest being in this universe. Mm-hmm. Which sh- sh- shook me because I'm like, oh, okay. Faster than, uh, faster than the God of Destruction. Faster than Birder. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> that was lies. That was just ignorance. <laughs> He was like one of the fastest people they had met. <laughs> one of, um, ooh, so good. Let's talk about the Beerus things. What? Tell me, Cartier. I know you have a list. What did we learn about Beerus? Beerus's past today, in whatever order that you feel is important. I don't know. Hmm. Or I learned about it. I'm sorry. In case you haven't seen this up, um, this show before, Super Showcast, we have a zero episode explaining what we're doing. But basically, I haven't even seen this. Nicholas Cartier. He has seen it. I have seen it. Um, so you, maybe you already knew these things about Beerus. You clearly did. But tell them what I learned today. Yeah. Well, this week in Dragon Ball Super, <laughs> Dan learned. He learned that Planet Vegeta mm-hmm. was destroyed by Frieza. He's known this. He's known this for many, right. many years. Okay, for sure. The thing he didn't know mm-hmm. was that... I'm gonna blow your fucking mind for a second because Frieza was told to kill all of the Saiyans. Frieza was told. <laughs> Beerus told him to do it. Yeah, yeah. Beerus told him to do it. The dinosaurs thing we already knew. The dinosaur things. A I joke got, from Battle of the Gods. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was carried a joke from over. Battle I think so. Yeah. Cartier has issues with that statement. I once again just another 
great thing. It's like, oh, didn't I do whatever? The Weiss, the Weiss Beerus uh, banter has been very strong. I agree, Cartier. Mm-hmm. Um, just like the little thing where he destroyed the dinosaurs. Cartier does not like that because obviously there are dinosaurs still on what we know as Earth in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. So in uh in this in this episode we mm. saw we saw two flashbacks we saw two flashbacks. How did you feel about the mix between the reanimated flashback of Son Goku going Super Saiyan and putting on the SmackDown on Frieza mm-hmm. versus the just like regular Trunks Vegeta? Well, not the Trunks Vegeta, but oh, okay. like um, when so all right. Prefacing, prefacing all of that for a second. Mm-hmm. Prefacing all of that for a second. We're gonna wind. We're gonna wind it back now. We're gonna wind it back now. Mm-hmm. So, Elder Kai is having a conversation with Kabito Kai, and he's like, "Listen, Beerus Be- is like a. He's like a natural disaster, and I'm terrified that a certain someone." is going to find out about Beerus, mm-hmm. and he's going to want to fight him, because he's a junkie like that. <laughs> he's a junkie for fights. Fight junkie. Yeah. yeah. But he he's doing that, and then North Kai, Kyle sama he's like, King Kai, North Kai, Kyle sama he's like, hey guys, uh, I was, uh, I was eavesdropping, but Goku is totally on my planet. <laughs> He's told he's totally not on Earth. He's not across the universe. He's like, he's like twenty six minutes and forty four seconds away from Beerus's current location. Just so you know, that long. That long said the James Wood of cats. It's not who I was thinking of. I was thinking of uh, that long said the past two episodes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> cats are but... strong. It's been established. Cats are strong. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how much more I can gush about Beerus, but, yeah, something about how they traveled. It just looked really good. Um, and when they went to take off again, 26 minutes away from Goku, uh, it looked good. They've shot, like, three different ways. And one of those twice. Like, they flash a little bit at the end, just like how it looked in the beginning. But all those animations have been very enjoyable to me. Well, what I was trying to get at was, mm-hmm. so... There's a there's a regular just like Dragon Ball Z flashback in there of oh yeah Goku, I'm sorry yeah Goku teleporting to Kyle's planet with Cell as he's exploding and he ends up killing him and like seriously Kyle Sama calls Goku out mm-hmm. mostly oh, yeah, for the sake of like keeping him away from eavesdropping on the existence of Beerus but he he calls him out on the halos he chases him around. Cartier, I honestly didn't even answer your question, and I, I now realize, but I don't know. It just confuses me why one would be remastered and the other isn't, but um, I will say... What, what are you going to say? I was going to make a sassy comment Ooh, about... He held back the sass. No, Cartier, I feel... <laughs> the animation in Dragon Ball Z? I, it, it just was... Uh, it was fine. I liked, I liked both. I mean, I, I it could like be either... Too. It could be either. It could be either. Good amount of Beerus in this episode. A good amount. We saw the home. A lot of a lot of exposition. I love that place they live. That tree pyramid situation. I, lo- uh, I love the oracle fish. Oh man, can we talk about the oracle fish? Cartier doesn't like the name Seer. I don't like that they call him the Seer. Established. Uh, it is in both versions. Yeah. We were surprised. Uh, in fact, I don't think I don't know if they say oracle fish in Japanese when they might have still. But he's like, "Where's that oracle fish?" I think that we will from this moment on. Just say Oracle Fish. You're going to know what we're talking about. What a great character. What a great character, Cartier. I love him. I love him. He's amazing. I I mean, the the, vo- the voice from him in both is just like, it's it's nice. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. I like that, like, he he tells the future, but, like, I mean, he forgets things. It's been 39 years, you know? The, it's true. The simple dialogue is unchanged of him as well. Or the fact that, like... Beerus, episode one, Beerus, he drinks this martini that's a little too greasy and blows up half a planet, but Oracle Fish comes out of nowhere, knocks the food out of his cup, Beerus looks at it, looks at him, takes a bite, and he's not pissed off. Like, 
I feel like Beerus has got a decent amount of respect for his his little goldfish. Uh-huh. He, I mean, yes. Also, Oracle Fish serves a purpose. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't think the Oracle Fish is uh, boring to Beerus, you know? Yeah. It's forever interesting until it is no longer true, I suppose. Maybe that's the moment where we see the fish destroyed, but no, I think that that Oracle Fish... Um, Survives not unlike Roshi's sister's name is Baba, just like Baba. It's like Baba's not gonna die, even though I'm sure Baba died in one of those, like some destruction of Earth and was brought back to. She's a witch. She's crafty, Cartier. I'm not really sure. Off the point. Uh, I know one thing you loved. I'm just gonna go past the beer stuff, but uh, we go to a car. A simple family four-door sedan. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Playing a handheld video game, we see uh, the young child of Krillin. Marin. And, uh, yeah, Marin, I'm sorry. We see Marin. I know you loved it, Cartier. Is it just because of Krillin's hair? No, it's not. uh, It doesn't have anything to do with his hair. I just, I personally think that, like, they have a very, very nice family for, like, living in the Dragon Ball universe. Mm -hmm. You like the dynamic? I do like the dynamic. I like that he, um, as he puts the capsule corp car back into a capsule so they can just fly. And he's like, I never get tired of putting a car in my pocket. And I'm like, yeah, Krillin. You're just a simple man. Like, it is pretty crazy. Capsules. This capsule technology. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like the I like the whole of them flying away and then ending up, like, meeting everyone else who is in the same... Probably, like, mile distance from one another. They're all stuck in traffic. Mm-hmm. So they're all just in the air flying. Chiaotzu, in the English version, he gets to say the word hi. He does. And I think that might be the highlight for him in Super. In the Japanese version, however... Tell me what he says, Coach here. He says... Ah! No go, no go, no go, no go, no go, no go. <laughs> so he doesn't even get to say an actual yeah, word, unless it's just... A-H... A pos- do we take it? Ah, uh, I. Uh, hi is you know. Not much either, but it's hello. Mm. Hmm. I'll give it to him only because last episode I gave the, the monster who was talking with Weiss, I refer to his, his manner of speech. Hmm. True. Even though I guess that is a language and. I yeah, guess, we uh, just didn't uh, understand the words. Language. Whatever, Charles, you, you get one point. You get one mitten child too. So they're all flying. They meet up. Yamcha. I, I was hoping that Yamcha would straight no sell the uh, approach of Krillin. Because at first he's it's like he's slow to be like, oh hey guys. Yeah, he waits for them to he's, stop talking before he looks over. Poir should have sensed them coming. <laughs> no, uh, but I really liked how they everyone everyone got to Capsule Corp and you just get to see everybody. You get to see everybody. Mm-hmm. Oolong. Uh, first nosebleed of Roshi. Uh, we saw Ox King. Always good to see Ox King. Besides the commercial breaks. We did get to see B. Uh, sweet B. Two shots of B. Two More shots. than one shot? Mm-hmm. One B. D- Dende's there. Boo got some lines in. Let's not even get into that yet. Because yeah, because we gotta talk about Piccolo. Ooh, yes, please. Piccolo gets his wedding pictures from Gohan's wedding, which I do believe he is the first man. He was Gohan's first the best man. man. Oh, the best man, right? Yeah, best man. yeah, yeah. yeah. He for sure, he was sure, he yes. He had to have been. He was Gohan's best man, that's gotta be. He had to have been. But. Call Toriyama now. Nah, they only let, Piccolo only let them take one picture, and he blinked. <laughs> he blinked, and he was upset about it, he and I was like, Piccolo. happy. I'm like, Piccolo Diamo, Demon <laughs> King Piccolo, a little pissed off because he blinked in the photo with his main buddy who just got married. Oh, it's like a son to him. That's more like a best friend. More like a best son. Like a best friend. But this is also, more than just Piccolo, it's like, oh, as someone who hasn't seen Super but has seen Battle of the Gods, I'm like, we're getting to the Battle of Gods, like, true territory besides Beerus. It's, it's everyone together. They're going on a yacht? Party cruise instead of just chilling on land when they were just having a good time? Majin Buu. Majin Buu, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Majin Buu's sitting. He's sitting at the table, and he's got all this food in front of him. He's got a blue hot dog in front of him, I believe. 
is what I saw. Many things. Many, many things. things. A blue hot dog was one of them, I believe. But Bulma, man, Bulma might be the strongest person in the universe mm-hmm. because she just like she grabs Boo, she touches him, she yells at him, Boo yells at her. You know, Hercule, Hercule sweating bullets. Episode one when he's like, "Go away," yeah, and Boo's yeah, yeah. like. Nah, dude, I want some fucking candy. <laughs> I know that everyone everyone agrees that Boo is clearly very strong, uh, but I think it is still a little controversial when I say words like this, Cartier. I think Boo is strongest under the heavens. <laughs> and this is why, Cartier. Just because in my head, at certain time periods, that Boo has existed in a peaceful way, including right now, if you had everyone on Earth, and this helps my thing because Goku's not there for what we're talking about right now. Yeah. Everyone on Earth fights. I think the last man standing is Boo, except for maybe a ch- an infant Oob. However old Oob is, right? He's not born what, yet. What about Vegeta? So, yeah, this isn't going to be spoilers, but even if Goku is here, the same thing happens, and that is they kill themselves trying to destroy Boo. He's just Laffy Taffy, you know what I mean? Yeah. He just just keep punching, laughing. You know, Earth is destroyed before Boo in my head. I just think he's amazing. So yeah, when he's very strong, when Bulma comes up to him, she knows. She knows what Boo is. She didn't give a fuck. So there's a uh, there's one thing that we forgot to talk about. Okay. And it was. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I love it, I love it when you talk about Boo. Yeah, I love Boo. But who trap? Hey, hey, Dan. Hey. Who trapped Elder Kai in the Z-Sword? I can't believe you didn't say this. It's Beerus. Uh, Beerus trapped him in the z He apparently, it didn't seem like trickery. He's just like, didn't, he's like, his speed. He blames his speed for how Beerus ended up trapping him in the Z-Sword, which is, I would like to know the full story, Cartier. I am interested. I don't know if we're ever going to get the full story. I am pretty sure. <sighs> hmm. it, it's been... Alright, so it was answered in the manga. I want to say... <laughs> yep. Alright. Yep. It was... Uh, he lost the game of hide-and-go-seek. It was either hide-and-go-seek or tag. It might be tag because of his speed. It's amazing. But I think it was hide-and-go-seek. It was the speed that killed him. Yeah. Interesting. When you tell me that story, I uh, get rid of the fact that I was thinking of. I was like, "Oh, it's funny that it's based off Weiss's speed. Like this, like myths of this really strong person." But I'm like, "I'm sure he has great speed too." And then I'm like, "If it was hide and go seek, I don't think it. I'm sure he just like beat him. <laughs> he just beat Elder Kai. Uh, also, the whole Elder Kai, like his earrings. Does that mean he's fused? Well." For the most part, all, about Kai, all Kai's have the earrings. Okay. But he he is fused. Mm. Yeah. He's interesting. Definitely. Side thoughts. He's definitely fused. Uh, but this is kind of how we kind of ended, right? Oh, no, we're talking about this. Yeah, that's how we kind of ended with, like, Elder Kai? Well, for this week's bonus round, mm. Dan. Yes. You're at the party. You're on the yacht. You're looking around. You're seeing all these people having a good time. How anxious does it make you whenever they bring up bingo? Oh, because the dancing? Because I said the dancing? I still don't think it's going to happen, even though they're setting the stage so well. You know, it, There's an on, actual stage? They're on a boat. Maybe there's less room. Maybe there's less room to dance for Vegeta. I don't think that... I just don't think he'll dance. I'm so wrong, aren't I? It's clearly every single piece of this is going to... It's going to be on a yacht. It's going to be Battle of the Gods on a yacht. Down to the pudding. Man. I don't want to make bets about the pudding. I'm just excited to see how that goes down. Do you have a favorite moment from this week, Cartier? Hmm. Favorite piece of... Yeah, the Piccolo moment. Oh, actually. yeah. <laughs> Piccolo uh, yeah. contemplating... Dude, I love the I love the slice of life things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I, I love it. I would wa- I'd watch a series of just like them living normal lives. Just doing whatever. Mm-hmm. Vegeta goes golfing with Dr. Oh, Breeze. Nice. <laughs> ah, so good. You know, that'd be a great episode. Mm. Uh, my favorite moment? 
personally was actually the first shot, the first few shots, because how they were first traveling when you're in the, like, like, I think you called it like a comet earlier, like a comet like stream of Weiss and Beerus moving. I really like that opening shot of Beerus, like, sitting as Weiss is just holding the staff, and that that ends with him stopping and establishing that he's the fastest being in the universe. Yep. Loved it. Favorite part. Honorable mention. Boo saying, Boo eat when want to. Dan Allen. Yeah. I think there's a hashtag somewhere in that for you. Hashtag buff luck. Hashtag buff luck. Speaking of buff luck. Boo doesn't even need luck. Out of ten. Out of (laughs) ten. Out of ten mittens. Hashtag buff luck in effect. What would you rate this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you rate this episode of? Um, I enjoyed that it was so beer heavy. It gets an easy, the highest rating I've given, a 9.1. Going up. Going up in stock. Nicholas Cartier, if you were to rate this out of, let's say, 10 mittens. Using glittens if need be. I would give it, I would give it an 8.1, so I would give it one more point than the last episode. Ooh... Cartier, I can't wait to give, like... I'm, gi- I'm giving out these high numbers because they're not bad, but then I remember, like, the other... What, we're on episode three, so I remember the other 129 episodes, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, this episode compared to blank, gonna... blank, blank, blank. Um, the, f- the really awesome Fighting Heavy episode that I give a 7.2, just because nostalgia will have worn off, and I didn't like it. <laughs> no, I'm excited to see how this goes forward. Honestly, 9.1 feels high, but it also... Feels good. So right, Cartier. You're gonna see it dip when there's no boo. When there's no Majin Boo, mm-hmm. you'll see the dip. Oh. The dip will be eternal. Super Chocast. Super Chocast. Do you have any do you have any final thoughts about final, this episode? Final thoughts is um finishing episode three. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh I I wanna say I don't recall, even though I've seen Battle of the Gods twice, I don't recall how much hand-to-hand combat we get. Between Beerus and Boo, they definitely crash through at least one wall. So maybe that is... I think it... I don't want to think about it too much. But I'm excited to see that altercation again and how it translates to... to this. I think it's going to take a minute. I don't think it's next episode. I think maybe Beerus lands at the end. But maybe he lands in the beginning. Episode 4. We'll find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super Cho Podcast. If you liked if you like if you like what we got here, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the third episode of Dragon Ball Super. Feedback. Hey. Let us know. Let us know how you like the podcast, honestly. I just like I like talking about Dragon Ball and I like watching Dragon Ball. Alaska. Also through the same episode twice. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. From deep within the heart of the myth. Just subscribe. Watch a few boys from Michigan talk about usually video games. But if you just like Dragon Ball Z and you're like, these guys talk about stuff I'm relatively interested in, maybe just get a little subscribe. Maybe just subscribe a little. My name is Nicholas Cartier. My name is Dan Allen. And we hope you have a super day.